Hi, uh, Tiffany Faye here. I uh, play for New York Rugby Club. I live in Brooklyn. I play tight head prop. Know when to push, but not push too far. Does that make sense? You know, got any positives? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to bring us on a down bars because overall it was really great, you know, but when Bogeta comes to me and say, Tiff, you're down three tries and you have five minutes, that's when I really want us to regroup and go through it and then we drop four balls after that. I mean, that can't happen tomorrow, that can't happen in our game. Tiff, when was the uh, first time you played or saw rugby? Um, so growing up in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, uh, you, we grew up with rugby, um, all kinds of rugby, touch rugby, rugby league. Uh, but my first uh, rugby union game was when I was 16 in high school at Brickhead College. Um, yeah, we, we wanted a team so bad we begged our janitor to coach us and he agreed and so he was my very first coach. I played centre. <laughs> What's it like uh, taking these long trips with the team, being away for a month? <laughs> Away from home, away from the guilty pleasures. Yeah, um, you know, you learn a lot about your team's habits. Um, some are good and some aren't so good. Um, we know that uh, JJ likes to sing really loud and dance around while we're walking in between tasks. Um, we know that Cheddar likes to hide her snacks and not share them with anyone. <laughs> I'm sure snacks <laughs> not um, what else is there? The plane rides were great. We uh, we got to it was actually quite empty, so we got to jump on other seats um, with a bit more space. Yeah, and um, you know you a know few good movies. Taller. If you're taller, you know you can talk some of the hooker scrum halves into trading for those aisle seats. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, we've actually been l uh, lucky with our accommodation. We have suites, but our own room, so it's nice to like, like check out every now and then. But then we have games nights where we're playing around the table, some cards, banana grams, and just having a good laugh in between practices. I love rugby because it it's, gives me a community, it's a community that I love. Um, it's a game that I started because I was so competitive and when you start at a young age and, you, and the opportunities it's given me, I just want to give back to the game. So as long as I can play, I'd love to you know, be on that pitch, either um, running with the team, throwing the ball around, or even if just on the sideline side cheering everyone on. Um, and eventually I'd like to coach, so I think rugby's a great sport, especially for women in America. Um, I've made lots of friends, lots of families for life, and I, yeah, I'm not really, I can't think of anything else. Mm -hmm. So you'll edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so a quick shout out to everyone back home. Um, I know that we've had lots of messages and I really appreciate that. The girls are just, you know, ready to get out there on the field and we all want to put it out there for you guys, hope to make you guys proud. The mirrors have had a little bit too long now, so I don't know what it is that we need to do to fix it. And it's going to be difficult every time there's new combos, right? You're going to get the, the two around you that you're used to and then you're going to get thrown someone that you've not worked with much. And that's why it's important that we work off the field to get that chemistry. Rugby is a game that will give back to you what you give to rugby, I promise you.